Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to talk about the new uh, zero order hold element that is added in version 12. So this is the original version uh, zero order hold element. Uh, as you can see, there's one input node for the signal you want to sample, and the output side is going to be the uh, sampled signal at uh, sampled at the rate assigned to it in the block. The new zero to hold is this one down here. We can see there's still the same signal input, and there's another node now, which is defining a shift in sampling. So this one was sampling that signal at the beginning of the period. This one will sample that signal um, at uh, whatever fraction of the period you define here. So between 0 and uh, 0.99. Obviously, you can't put it back at 1, uh, but so this 0.25 is going to be a quarter of the way through the, the period. Uh, this 0 0.5 is going to be halfway through. 0.75 would, would be three quarters of the way through. And this control signal can also change during simulation, so you could shift this signal, the sampling point, during a simulation as well, if that was something you were looking to do. Uh, so this uh, zero order hold, uh, we assign the sampling rate again, and then this is going to be the shift in the period uh, all the way through. So let's have a little look at a simulation result here. So pretty simple little circuit we've got going. We just got the same signal going into all of these things. We're adding them together, and you'll see how where the sum gets updated. So we'll run this, uh, and so here's the uh, input. Uh, let's add on to that the uh, original uh, zero to hold so we can see where we're grabbing the samples and then we'll add on to this one the two shifted pickups let's just zoom in here on a section so we can see the original blue here uh, and the green one is one of the shifts and the pink one is the second shift and they're happening at uh, one quarter and halfway through period and then uh, here's the update, uh, the next beginning of period, the new sample on the original. And then let's see where the uh, sum, how that gets changed. So uh, we'll just zoom in on a couple cycles here again. So we can see the sum is actually updating at the same rate as the original. So the shifted zero order holds are just shifting the sample point. Uh, scroll over a little bit here. So here's one cycle. So we picked up that sample, um, picked up, so the green and the pink ones are being added together to make the orange one, and we can see that's updating at the same rate as the original one and the, the same leading edge. So even though we've shifted the sample points, the um, downstream signals are still updating at the original, uh, at the proper rate at the beginning of period. So all that's happened is the shift point has changed. We're not changing the downstream um, update. So we can use that in an application here. This was the old method of, of shifting a signal. You'd have to shift the carry waveform so all the relative timings would, would shift. Uh, so if we run this simulation, this is going to basically sample at beginning of period. So we'll see that the I sampled compared to the uh, actual closing signal, if we overlay that way, we can see it's picking up the very bottom here. So the, the, when we're grabbing a sample, we're picking up the minimum. Um, if we go over here and we add in that phase delay, so this is the old method, so this will pick up a sample at the beginning, sorry, the middle of the period. We can now see that that's um, now picking something up in the middle there. But the issue with this was that the timings would then all be shifted. So now what we can do is just leave that as a zero and use the new zero order hold. So same sampling rate, and now we'll pick up at the middle of the period there. And what we can do now is so now the timing is all set up properly, and we're still picking up, and we're now we're picking up that sample from the middle of the period without shifting the relative execution rates of the downstream signals. Okay, so that's a look at this tutorial video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, look for more tutorial videos on the version 12 updates and obviously lots of other videos dealing with uh, power supply design and everything else that PSIM can do. Uh, thanks again for watching. If you have questions or comments, do uh, leave some down below the video or you can over, head over to our website and uh, check out the forum there. And uh, thank you so much for, for watching. Uh, 
Catch you on the next one. Bye now.